What's up, guys? I just figured out a new series that I am going to personally be doing. You guys! Yeah. It's going to be won. titled Cheating Over Death. Here. Over here! Y yes, Bam Bam, hold on. My son has something important to say. Yes, yes Bam. So it's gonna be called Cheating Death. And mm -hmm. I think it's gonna be interviews with my family members and other people who I care about, right? Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be asking them interviews. Question, like, questions you would like to know about people who you can no longer ask those questions to. So, like, and if, you know, you guys might not be interested in any of these questions, but it's gonna be for my family and my, basically documentation for my kids. And I'm gonna write down questions that my kids might have wanted to know the answers to, or just so they can get some more insight on everybody in our family, and then like other people's family members, and just some overall interviews called Cheating Death. Interviews for the average person, right? Like, we always get interviews for people like Will Smith, and interviews for famous celebrities. We never get to really hear from the people who matter the most to us and our family. Like, I would have loved to hear my dad, my, my, my grandfather, right, have an interview, a sit-down interview. But nobody was gonna interview him because he's not, like, famous. But that doesn't mean he didn't have a story to tell. So... I like that. What? So I like that. And then maybe get your dad in an interview. Like, I wanna do, like, formal interviews. Like, the, like, the people we interview are gonna obviously be uncomfortable because, like, they've never been interviewed before. Like, right, but, right. but I want to like I want them to have their moment where they feel like a celebrity. What do they want to be remembered for? And I think I got to start that now. So I don't know if my first interview is going to be my dad or my mom or my uncle Ali or Auntie Trina, but like I want I want to let them know the date that I'm going to interview them. I want them to get all dressed up looking good, you know, just like a real interview, like a 2020 interview, right? And uh, it's going to be a series that I'm going to start. My first video, I think I'm going to do either one or two people a month. And then maybe, I want to, maybe Kamali's going to be my first interview. Who knows, right? Uh, but I got, so anyways, I, I say this, I say all this to say this. If you guys have any great questions, I need good questions to ask people, right? Uh, so like, have any great questions that you think that I can ask during these interviews um, make sure you put them down in the comments below because I'm gonna I'm gonna come up with the questions but I would love to collaborate and see what questions you guys like if you could talk to any of your loved ones who passed away or if anything like that know, yeah. what would you want to know what would you ask them so please leave those questions below and are you guys interested in this series and I know we have a lot of series commitments that we got to finish, but this is a real series that I feel passionate about. And we are going to also finish our other series too. But this one I'm only, and I'm going to get this done. What do you think about that? I like it. I love it. Obviously, I want you to be more involved, and this will get you more involved. So I'm down. I think it's a great idea to um, have those type of memories and stuff. I'm all, all about capturing memories that I can look back on in the future. So Maybe that's, that's definitely call it. Do you like the title? Should I call it Cheating Death or should I call it I like that. Else? I really like that. I like the Cheating Death because you're gonna, you're gonna, people are really gonna treasure these videos when that person passes. And you know, we're not saying that these people are gonna pass or anything, we're just. Well, they are gonna pass. Well, they are, yeah, but we like, we're not, right. right, we right. don't know when or anything. Because it might be, no. it, you know, obviously we're going to start out with the orders of operation, or not start out, but it could be my cousin Tweet, right? It could be my cousin yeah. Sibony, it could be me. Like, yeah. people and are going I, I would say get the core people first, but I would branch out too, you know, like, get friends, get, you know, all your cousins in Michigan, get, you know. Because it's not like, just for get, us, right? Yeah. It'll also be for their family. Like, definitely. My, my <laughs> friend Dan. You yeah. know, interview him, and then who knows? Maybe something happens. He's got a kid on the way, and like something happens to him. On like you know, Definitely. we and you know, she goes back and looks at that. Or even their grandkids can go back right. and watch these. Like I think it's just that's something that's really valuable. I think that's something that people are gonna really treasure 
and it's something that you guys might I'm, be interested I'm in just to that. hear from the regular person. Like, I wish I could go back and talk to my granny about the day Martin Luther King got assassinated, right? Because she was alive during that time. Or ask my dad you know, about 9-11. I would love yeah. to interview my ba. Because yeah. she met Gandhi. Or she yeah. saw Gandhi. So, so you, you know. know. And she's still alive. And we might have to do right. that via FaceTime, right? Like, right. whatever it is, you know, interview her dad. He came from India. Like, and I want like, to go in depth. Like, what was it like? Everything. Like, I want to know your story the story of the average person and I've always wanted to go into it. documentaries so like, I, I I think this is a brilliant idea and I think after we even get family and friends after we can get everyone we can think of it would be cool just to do random people mm -hmm. you know like just if anyone wants to interview we'll do it you know like I just think that's such a cool way for people to leave their legacy behind and tell their story and people are gonna, family members and friends are gonna treasure these. I think that's a great idea. I love it. So let's do it. Yep, we're on it. This is what we're doing. This is my this is my passion point. I've always wanted to do documentaries. I, you know, if I if I could get a documentary crew. Let's um, right? let's set up like a really nice location that we can do all of them. That would be kind of cool to have like a cohesive like, like setting yeah, too. I kind of want to do it in their space. Okay, yeah. I like that. Like, I want to yeah. do it in their space to make so that way it didn't feel stale. Like every okay. every like in their environment, in their house. Okay, I like and that. And if they feel comfortable, they can even give us a tour of where they live at. What what, what do they really value? What materials well, it would be do they kind value? Of cool, um, if you did kind of like a, um, have you seen? Uh, Vogue's, I think it's like 20 some questions or 100 questions, I don't know how many, but Vogue does a series where they go to famous people's houses and they ask like, it's a rapid fire of questions. I mean, it wouldn't be the same thing, you would be asking, but, but they like move around their house while they're asking these questions, so it feels more natural, more fluent. I'll show you them, or fluent I should say. Um, I'll show you them. Yes ma'am? Are we running? No, we're driving, silly. Did you Yep. Yep, that's, that's me running. But, yeah, I like it. Alright, well, I'm starting this series and... I gotta figure out who my first guest is gonna be. Like, who's my first interview? So that's gonna be something I... You know, it might be my dad, and just because it's one, the first interview, I might want to go back and do another interview, right? So, who knows, whatever I'm compelled to do. Maybe my first interview will be my dad, maybe the first interview will be your dad. I think we should do your dad, like, I think you should interview your dad in Gujarati, right? Like, asking all the questions and then, like, translate it on the bottom. Because, um, obviously, that's his top language. Right. Um, you could always interview me for practice. Person, that particular yeah. person. Yeah. So, yeah. So, 